All right, so we got the uh, excavator pulled up here behind me, and uh, we are going to try to install a uh, hydraulic thumb. I posted about this in an earlier video, and it finally came in. So let's see what all that comprises. All right, so here's the thumb and the cylinder, a couple of hoses and a whole lot of fittings. So let's follow the instructions and see if we can get this installed. I've I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the first step is going to be install the cylinder here. You can see my stick was already set up with the uh, setup for the thumb, so uh, it'll be a little bit easier. Uh, if not, I suppose you'd probably have to weld that in with a kit. But here we go. Next, we're going to put in this little uh, adapter. These all have rubber gaskets on them, so you shouldn't have to use Teflon on it. Just get it nice and tight. All right, next. This little assembly here, we'll screw on here. All right, next we're gonna remove this hose right here. I have relieved the pressure, hopefully. I'll do this slowly, just in case. And then we'll be installing one of these T's right in here, which will then come off to the cylinder. Okay, we are back in action. It was buried in the parts, but I did have the correct T's, so we'll get these put on.
Okay, so we've got the right side of this hydraulic line all set up. We've got the T with the fittings here. New line going to the cylinder and the valve and fittings as well. So we're just going to repeat the same process on the other side and should be a little bit further along. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna knock out the pin right here and then this will go up in place. We'll have to add some shims and then a longer pin will connect it all together. So let's try to do that. It's gonna be a little difficult because that thumb probably weighs 90 to 100 pounds.
Okay, well it took all the shims we had, but we got the pin through. So now there's a little hole right here that this bolt will go into. We'll secure it with two nuts and that pin's not coming out. Okay, so we got it lifted up. We've got the pin in the middle. Got it held with a toe strap right now, uh, or ratchet strap. So we'll go about seeing about securing the pin and we should be cl pretty close at that point. All right, she's all hooked up. Only thing left to do is install a couple uh, grease fittings right down here at the end of the pins, and then we'll fire her up and give her a shot. All in all, I think we got it all installed. Uh, everything's tightened up, no leaks. Um, got everything greased up. So uh, next thing, we'll uh, turn her on and see how it works, and then we'll do a follow-up video where we actually put it in use. So thanks for watching along, and uh, let's see how she works. So pretty good. Got uh, the uh, speed adjusted there a little bit, so uh, she moves smoothly. And uh, yeah, excited to get in the field and get some work done with it. Uh, all being said, pretty simple. The instructions were awesome, so uh, no problem putting it all together. Uh, definitely, you know, one guy can do it, but it would definitely have been a lot easier with the second person, just because this thing weighs so much. But all that being said worked pretty good so uh yeah thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful and uh stay tuned to see it in action